The Impact Lounge is the number one place to be for the real Impact Wrestling fans. Hey, what's going on, folks? It is BQ, and as always, you can follow me at BQ Speaks on Instagram and Twitter. This is the Impact Lounge. Make sure to subscribe. First of all, the purpose of this vlog is not to rehash any angry feelings or relive a really unfortunate event. Yes, I'm going to recap some of what happened a year ago, and honestly, I think it happened about a year ago to date. Uh, but I really want to start off with the positive impact that the Sexy Star and Rosemary incident had on the wrestling world, as well as look at what both women are doing today. And I'll talk about that at the end of this video. About a year ago, the wrestling world came together in a way that we hadn't really seen at the time. Now, in 2018, we are seeing collaboration. We're seeing Impact versus Lucha Underground versus Ring of Honor. We're seeing the independent world continue to play a bigger role than they were a year ago. Now, when I say the wrestling world, I'm not talking the mainstream wrestling bubble. I'm talking about the smaller television companies and the sea of independent workers all across the world. That's who I'm talking about came together. I'm curious to know where many of you stand on this a year later. From what I've read, I don't believe there's any hard feelings on Rosemary's side, but the situation was definitely damaging to her career, or actually to Sexy Star's career, as she was essentially blackballed and a lot of her bookings were canceled. So, obviously... There was the triple threat, or the triple mania, I think it was a four-way actually, triple mania match where Sexy Star locked a shoot cross arm breaker or arm bar, whatever you want to call it, on Rosemary and didn't immediately break the hold. Now when applying this move in real life, I used to teach this hold amongst others when I was on active duty. Unless you're double jointed, it is an immediate tap out. Like in one second you will tap out if it's done properly. Now what's the difference between the two? In the shoot hold, you're basically uh, shaking the other person's hand, but the key is that their thumb is pointing straight up in the air. Once you turn that hand on its side, the move doesn't really hurt. So when you see Alberto El Patron lock it on with his opponent's palms facing up or the back of their hand facing up, there's no pain at all when doing that. The difference between the two is a simple turn of the wrist. Smash the face down with the back of your knee, pelvis thrust upward, and you have a tap out. DJ Z had said after the match that him and Andrew Everett went to check on her and she completely bypassed them so they knew immediately that she was hurt. Jeff Jarrett even tried to briefly tease on social media that they were going to turn this into an angle, which they obviously didn't. He, he was trying to create a little controversy, but thank God they didn't do an angle because it would have made him the biggest villain in wrestling and erased all sympathy for Rosemary at the time. This was during the Global Force Wrestling era with Impact. Going back to what I said earlier, the wrestling world really came together on this and it was by far the biggest thing being discussed on social media. Rosemary went radio silent for a little while, but that didn't stop the hundreds of fans and wrestlers from tagging her and showing their support. I think it stood out to me particularly because in the military, we have jokes about other branches like the Army and Marines are dumb. The Navy gets the homosexual jokes. Air Force is entitled and out of shape and... The Coast Guard isn't a real branch, but talk shit about another veteran in front of another veteran. You'll see a band of brothers and sisters and spouses and family members bond together quicker than you could ever imagine. So to me, this was a really beautiful thing to see. And it reminds us fans that we may go to war with each other over which company is better, what wrestlers, a no name or a has been or PG sucks or whatever the case is. But the wrestlers across the board do get along and support each other like a real family. It's kind of unfortunate that the wrestling fans on social media can't do the same. And yeah, I'm guilty of that at times. I'd say in real life where people aren't acting like keyboard warriors, there's a more respectful bond. But the way wrestling fans go at each other makes us look a little foolish in comparison to how the workers do. The workers who are actually doing the job. So Rosemary's official statement, I'm going to post the link in the description and I'm going to actually paste the statement on there as well. But she basically said, if you take liberties with someone's body when they're giving it to you and trusting you to keep them safe, you are not tough, you are an asshole, and you don't belong in the business. And then she turned to the positive saying the outreach from the wrestling community has been incredible. She was overwhelmed with how much love she felt right now from friends, fans, and people she has yet to meet in this amazing business. And further went on to say, we're a family, we protect our own. If you violate that, you're not welcome here. Now, Sexy Star released like a four-page response. It was, um, it was probably more damaging than helping. And I'm going to paste the link for that too. I'm not going to paste the whole statement because it's actually really long. But I'm going to put that uh, link in the description. But to paraphrase, she even said, 
that she wasn't worried about the situation because she saw with her own eyes that Rosemary wasn't injured. She didn't assume. She proved it by seeing that she wasn't being attended by medical personnel, wasn't taken to the hospital. There was no medical equipment being used on her, no stretcher, which is what happens anytime someone suffers an injury. Now, she has recently said, and this is not long ago, that she has reached out and th that she did apologize to her. So there was kind of some conflicting things on that as far as that goes. But right now, Rosemary is again injured after tearing what I believe was her ACL against Jessica Havoc in AAW. Funny thing is I almost went to that show. Uh, Chicago is about four hours away. I almost went because I hadn't met Rosemary yet. Uh, since I've met her about three times, awesome person. Her and Allie at some point will be appearing on the channel for an interview. I talked to her about that a couple months ago. Um, Rosemary, that is. And we're going to try to get that cracking. Uh, but she was last seen on Impact and written off TV for now when she was buried by Sue Young. And what seems like it's going to be a really good angle because I thought the burial was great. And she's teased coming back with a new meat suit, as she calls it. So we could see... Rosemary may be going back to a darker character or just a different character, but we should be seeing a new Rosemary here by the end of the year. Not sure if Sexy Star is still involved with Lucha Underground. As I've said before, I'm really, really behind and I only get to watch a uh, episode every so often. I'm actually still in the second season, but she is a, uh, Recently been receiving bookings again, because as I said, after the incident, she was basically blackballed, had a lot of bookings canceled and lost out on a lot of money. So where do you stand on this a year later? Rather than really thinking about the bad, I think it was just great to see the wrestling world and the majority of the fans who actually have half a brain come together, even if for a brief moment. I think it was a good reminder of what the wrestling community currently is, but, it, but it's an even better reminder of what the wrestling community should be. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up and for more from the Impact Lounge, check out the videos below.